I really don't know what to call this effect, so I'm going to call it the ultimate slash aug VHS effect because it kind of fits into their aesthetic. This effect is beginning more popular for about a year now, and I see more and more directors incorporating it into their styles. And I really don't like exposing one person's main style, but I feel like that more people are using it, that the secret's kind of out already, but still kind of underground that I can share with you guys. So here's the tutorial. I'm going to show you what exactly what you need, and then I'm going to show you my technical setup. I already made this tutorial, and I had a whole long story about how I came into the cross this effect and how I figured it out blah 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 but you guys don't want to know about that so timestamps are on the screen what you need and then what my setup is for it so if you haven't noticed yet there's no program timestamps meaning there's no Premiere Pro there's no Vegas Pro timestamps because this isn't a program this is a real life effect and you're gonna need real life money means you're gonna need a kind of a big investment in order to get the actual good quality effects that you want I kind of cut back on my investment and the quality shows I wish I would have spent more money now trust me I've looked hours and hours and hours trying to figure out this effect the VHS plugins different VHS software different VHS presets making my own and it doesn't come close to this so if you want to get this effect you're gonna need to put real money in so this is kind of aimed more towards the professional people sorry for like the kids kind of watching that can't really invest in this but you know maybe stick with universe VHS so here are the three main things you're gonna need you're gonna need something that gives out an RCA cable output it's most likely gonna be a VHS camera and it adds more to the aesthetic if it's a VHS camera but I guess you can do it with the DVD player but you know how are you gonna do that right second you're gonna need something to capture the RCA input right so either a easy cap I've used it with the easy cap before but if you want more of a VHS type TV effect you go with the CRT TV now some tips on finding a CRT TV because I didn't have one anymore I had to look on offer up eBay and I even almost spent like $50 on one just because I could not find one but it's just a good way is to go on offer up eBay these the local ones are probably your best bet and look up old TV don't look up CRT TV because you're gonna be paying more just look up old TV and then just find a box TV that takes RCA cables right now here's the main thing you're going to need and the one thing that's going to give you the glitches and the crazy VHS effects that you want, right? You're going to need a visual synthesizer. So with my hours of research, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. There's four ways you can acquire a visual synthesizer and two of them are making them yourselves, kind of. One, if you know how to circuit bent, you shouldn't be watching this tutorial because you already know what to do. If you know how to circuit bent, which I imagine none of you know how to do, you can make your own and I didn't know how to do that so we'll just scratch that one off second is you can buy the board from LZX Industries and it's called like a LZX video op, but the boards are too expensive they start at like $500 that's too expensive we'll scratch that off so now we're left with these two products you see on the screen right here now these boxes are visual synthesizers that you can buy the top one is the one I have I bought it off eBay for around $120 I'll leave the link in the description now the second one is the one everyone uses and the one I recommend you getting because I don't like my eBay one at all. It's cool for the price. I spent $120 on it, but I ran out of the effects fast and the effects aren't even as cool as the more expensive one, the one that everyone else has, which is the Take Cones Plus Opti Glitch. Now this one is at $444 right now. I don't know if it's going to go up in price. I don't know if it's going to go down in price. But right now you can get it for $444 from Takehone's website. Now this isn't sponsored by Takehone's. But if you want to be different than everyone else using this box. Takehone's has other products like an extra sketch that does kind of the same thing. It's crazy. I don't know I don't know how he does it. But you can be different and make crazy videos and no one will know how to do it because he bought these other products. Now they're more expensive most of the time. But you know if you're a professional it's an investment. Now a note about buying these products is that these products are super niche. These products aren't mass produced. That means when you buy it, it might take some time for you to get in the mail because frankly it's just one guy going to circuit bent the board. He's literally hand making the board and then going to ship it out to you. So if it takes time, just know that it might take, you know, two weeks, three weeks. I've heard people take you know four weeks to get their box now my ebay box took me two days to get i don't know if you had one already in hand but you know that's how long it took so if you buy one and it takes a long time don't worry because it's probably coming in the mail now i'm going to show you my technical setup on how i have everything set up and 
prepared in order to record and do this effect. Now, it's probably not the best and tech most technical way to do this. I'm pretty sure there's a different way people are doing it, but this is my workaround to it because I could not figure out how to do it better. So I'm just going to show you my technique. Let me know how you guys do it in the comments below because I would want to learn how to you know, have it more efficient. Anyways, I filmed on an iPhone, so sorry for the bad audio quality, and here it is. Sorry for the bad audio, this is recorded on the iPhone, but here's my setup. So this is the thing everyone wants to see. This is my video modulator. Like I, like I said before, this is not the one everyone else uses. This is a cheap $120 one I got off eBay. But I would, if I was gonna get one, I'd recommend getting the $500 one everyone uses. So this is how it works. I have my VHS camera on a tripod here, which I'll explain why later. But right now it's playing a video I shot on the VHS. It has an output cable going into the modular system. The modular system has an output cable going to the back of my CRT TV. And then I have my camera just shooting my CRT TV so it gets more of a TV effect. And then if I was gonna do it, actually I'd frame it right, get the shutter speed right on everything. So here's how it works. So that's the CRT TV. I just need to turn this little dial and it'll start doing effects like that. Now I have different switches that have different effects, but if I was gonna get a new one, like I said before, I just go straight with the $500 one because with these effects, they're kind of cool, but they get old really fast and everyone else has cooler effects. But it'll work the same with the $500 one. Now let's say you don't have a CRT TV and you don't want to do this camera thing so you don't mess up your framing or whatever you get. There's more margin of error, right? You just want to go straight from the modular system to your computer. Well, you can. All you need is OBS. That's a software everyone uses to make tutorials. And you just need this convenient RCA cable on the floor. And this RCA cable is connected to an easy cap. And then that, now I can record off pretty much off the VHS to the modular system, to my screen. So I'll be back when I, I'm gonna plug this in to my modular system and I'll be back. So once I plugged it in, it's already playing on the screen and I can do the same type of effects. Let me turn the dial and it'll do those type of effects. But doing this, I find more margin of error because it just, the video keeps cutting out when connected to the easy cap, but it gets cool effects like that. Like I wish I would have done that because that looks pretty cool, but that's probably the coolest effect I can get off this one. And then all, all I do is just start recording and I record the screen. So now you're asking if I have videos on my computer that were shot on a regular camera and I imported to my computer, how do I do the modular effect on them? Well, here's my workaround. I know there's probably some way to do it better than this, but I've tried this HDMI to RCA thing and it wasn't working. I've tried three of them, three different brands, it just was not working. So now we go back to the VHS camera on the tripod. I literally, here, let me pull up a video. So I pull up a video, right? I turn the lights off. I literally just point the VHS camera at my screen and then I put it on record. Sorry about that. So I literally point the VHS camera to my screen and then I unzoom it like that and then it'll feed it directly to my TV and then I record it the usual way and then I do whatever effects I want but that's the best way I could do it and I just try to get the framing as perfect as possible and I try to get the framing as perfect as possible there there's probably a better way to do it but this is the only way I know how to do it and yeah so if you know a better way just let me know in the comments